Well, what have we here? That's what I can hear some of my YouTube friends saying. And what we have here is this. <laughs> One of the coolest radios of all time, I think. This is a Zenith Transoceanic. Up on the top there, near the antenna, it says the royalty of radio. <laughs> Yeah. I haven't tried to plug this in yet or anything like that. But I do want to show it to you. Got this today and a newer kitchen stove for $90 and I'd say we did well same place. <laughs> Mom definitely needed a new stove, I could tell you that. Or a new air stove. I guess that thing's about, looks like it's probably about 15 years old. Anyway, this is what the back of the radio looks like. You can see there's a hole there. It looks kind of funny looking to me. It looks like it needs a plug. <laughs> you can see on the top of a tube when you look down in there. I said that something about picking up stations on this. I don't know. I'm not even 100% sure what era this is from. But I don't really see an FM on there. No. Don't see it. I'd also need to figure out how to get it out of the case and look at it from the inside point of view. Probably check on some capacitors. Um, I don't know about any other things, but. <laughs> Quite excited to get this. It's really nice shape and everything. That's it. Stuff like this is kind of rare around where I live for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> so, anyway, $15 for this and $75 for the stove. I think we did just fine. Thanks for watching and more to come later and God bless. How do y'all like my screwdriver extension? <laughs> hey, at least it works and I'm banging my fingers into the radio while I'm turning. <laughs> Well, you can tell I'm new to this. I tried to take this off by removing all the screws. <laughs> no, that's not how you get in there. Putting your finger in that hole and pulling with all your might is how you get in there. <laughs> Let me get a better light here. All right, that's what the inside looks like. I got a moth flying around on my lamp. <laughs> I 
I don't know what I, I'm trying to think of what I can do here. I heard this works. I don't know how true that is, who knows. Was, the way he described how it works was kind of vague. <laughs> Well, who knows, I might just do it to Shango Seal 6-6 style and put power on it and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, there goes nothing.
Burton kicked down on me. <laughs> Here, no filter home whatsoever. Generally, when the thing is dead on this. is pressing these buttons seem to have generally have no effect on the radio. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Got a good start. I do notice that the filter is just modestly worn, which is a good thing. Not even hot. So who knows? He might get to stay. I do have I do have to notice I do uh tongue tied. One thing I do notice is kinda of cool is you practically have to have lights off to send you tube activity in there. There's a little bit. I don't think the camera's picking it up though. Okay, so I'm trying to read the capacitors here. I'm definitely not that good at it at the moment. But uh, I'll try to learn. I got red, red, orange, and gray. That's how I got it programmed into my iPod Touch. And it comes up with 22K on there as a resistor color code. I wonder if the resistor code can be used as, you know, be used to find the capacitor, capacitance is what I'm trying to say. Take a look at this chassis here. You can see it's got a lot of bumblebees. I think we call these caps. Or at least I'm going to call them bumblebees. The only thing I noticed really wrong here is uh, this cap is blown open, which is not unheard of. 
and it don't look like anything I did. Uh, looks like it was old damage to me. It's, looks like it was a little bit dusty inside or something. Of the carnage. Oh, one, one last thing for right now is I noticed the speaker is loose and the rubber grommets it appears that they did have some there they, they just crushed and disintegrated and all that jazz and I might go maybe I'll get some overings or something to fit over to that I'm not for sure but anyway, I was just wondering if by chance this, for some reason, the speaker was isolated from the chassis. Maybe some of you out there would know. So, thanks for watching and more to come later and God bless. And for now, I'm going to button this up before I lose any parts. <laughs>